Hi guys, welcome back to another video of me teaching and today I have this video on the board for you guys. So why don't we just get into question? Well, this simultaneous question actually looks pretty easy, right? But actually, it is not so easy. So many of you might think we just can use substitution and we just sub back and forth, but actually that does not work. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to see, so we know that from the first equation, y is equal to something, but I want a different expression of y from the first equation. Well, how do we do so? Well, if we move this here, factor out a y, and we divide the one minus x squared to the left hand side, then it's a different expression. So from the equation one, y is equal to 2x over 1 minus x squared, and you can try this on your own. Similarly, in equation 2, z will be equal to 2y over 1 minus y squared. And in equation number 3, x will be equal to 2z over 1 minus z squared. Okay, so we see that this, this, and this have the same form. So this implies that we should define a function f of t to be, well, 2t over 1 minus t squared, of course. So we see that from equation 1, we can change it to y equals to f of x, right, f of x. In equation 2, z is f of y. And in equation 3, x is f of z. But z is f of y. So this is f of f of y. But y is f of x. So this is f of f of f of x. So we see that x is just equal to f of f of f of x right so this means that after uh, after applying three iterations of this function on x we get back x so this is what we call as iterative and also one more thing we see that from x we can get y right And from y, we can get z. But from z, we can get x. This is what is known as cyclic. And this simultaneous is cyclic and symmetric. So if I rub everything out, okay, so we have our two key ingredients. So if you noticed, or if you haven't noticed already, f of t is actually just a standard representation of t formula so if we do a simple sub just let x to be tangent theta now most people would think to let x to be tangent theta over 2 but i just wanted to make it a bit more simpler then we see that y is tangent of 2 theta because upon applying this function or the t formula it returns the double angle so z is also tangent 4 theta. And as we know, applying three iterations of this function on x returns x. So x is the same as using applying one of these functions on z. So tangent 8 theta. So we see that tangent theta is equal to tangent 8 theta. And since the period of tangent is pi, then we know that 8 theta is theta plus k pi. So 7 theta is k pi. So theta is 1 over 7 k pi. And k is an integer. Okay, so now we can sub theta for this so we know that x is equal to tangent of 
that. So this and y is equal to tangent 2k over 70 pi and z is tangent 4k over 7 pi. So, we see that since this inside the tangent is over 7, then we know that there must be 7 distinct solutions for x. So that means 7 distinct values for k. But which 7? Well, k will of course go from 0 to 6. And it is the same down here. So, this is the solution. So, this is the final answer of this very interesting cyclic and symmetric simultaneous equation. So, thank you guys so much for watching. And if you enjoyed my video and you want more videos like this, please consider liking and subscribing. If you want to master something, teach it.